Hi, it's Adele, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell below, because then you'll be notified for every single time I put on a new YouTube video. So in this video today, what I'm gonna show you is a tip and a trick, kind of my technique for when you've gotten to a certain place in a painting and you're not really sure what to do. Now this is a large painting. Um, and so you might not wanna just haphazardly put anything on there cause you might be afraid to go ahead and ruin it. And this is gonna take away all the fear and give you tons of confidence because I experiment using all my collage papers. Not that I would necessarily glue them on here, but it gives you an idea of what color um, you might wanna use, where you wanna put it on here. Um, and it just helps guide you to the next step. And you're gonna to listen to your gut by saying, oh, I love it there, or no, it's too much of a contrast, or what have you. Now, this is a large 48 by 60 canvas that I did um, in my Art with Adele Academy, which is an online art school. And if you're interested, there's a link below to find out more about that. But this is um, a large painting and say, okay, I wanna keep going on it. I could stop, but if you wanna test it, I have uh, all the uh, several collage papers that, uh, I mean, trays filled with collage papers that I put out on my table. And so let's just start with, I'm gonna pick a neutral. I, here's my neutrals, my blues, my black and whites, and a combination. So say I wanna add more neutral, but I might want a little pattern. Um, I'm going to take this tape, which is just painter's tape, tape it on the back and hold it up and put it around. Is it over here? Now, if you put a lighter one over a darker one, it's gonna give it contrast and your eye is gonna go there. So it's a great way to experiment. Like, do you wanna bring the viewer's eye over here? Or if you don't, if you put it somewhere down here where the color is more subtle, um, with the background color, do you wanna put it there? Look at the difference if you put it here or here. Let's just put it here just for right now so I can show you the difference. So let's say we're gonna put it there. Your eye goes straight there because of the contrast. That's not to say you want it there, but you can try things out. So now let's try another one. Let's say you want something neutral and not too contrasted over in this area or over here. So you can have, this is just paper I bought at the, um, at the art supply store and wrapping paper actually. So you hold it up over here. Maybe you want it up here or this way. You can try it out in so many different areas. And so, but this looks really large to me. So I'm gonna cut it down. And I'm also going to tear it. Maybe I want a different shape. So you could do this. I'm gonna hold it up. This is still very contrasted. Here, maybe over here. This is, I like it here. <clears throat> it gives a little bit of a black and white pattern. So your eye comes over here next to this orange. Um, so I like it there. This is bothering me, so I'm gonna take it off. Um, but what about if we try a black and white um, there? So it's not as full of contrast. What would that look like? So I'm just gonna use this. This is just on my collage tray, my black and white collage tray. Um, so let's see. And you can just lay them all around. So we've got that there. Say we have this here. Do you like this here? I kind of like that there. I'll leave that there. So you can just keep trying different things. Here are some more, or let's try some neutrals or some, let's try some colors. We've got some blue here and blue up here. So I'm gonna go for the blues and I'm just gonna take several and hold them up and see if there's something I wanna put here. I like that this blue is different than this color. So maybe I want, it's very subtle and it might add a little punch of something. So I'm gonna try that there. And after you put several of these on, and where would you want it? Maybe over here and I'm gonna do it vertically and I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Then I'm gonna take a step back and see how it goes. I'm liking what we did here. I might want something, my eyes going up here. I wanna, my eye goes here. And that's the major thing. Where do you take your viewer's eye around the canvas? But this, I love this 
line here, but I want something else here up in this area. So let's try a couple of things. And here's a yellow. No, what about that color? You can even hold it up. No, not that color. Do we want something maybe like stripes up here? Maybe, this is really interesting. I like patterns. Now this happens to be a coffee filter that I put acrylic ink on. So I happen to know from doing this, again, in my Art with Adele Academy, that once you glue this on, because it's a coffee filter, the, it, the clear part or the thin part will basically go away and all you'll see are the stripes. And I like that. How about, let me put it here right next to this one and stand back and see if I like that. I don't like the vertical. Maybe I should do some horizontal. Or maybe it's too much, too many of them and I'll tear this, I'll tear the top off. This is like a transparent filter with coffee filters. Now let me try to put this up here. And you see how you can kind of figure out the next piece to your puzzle, which is how I think of the art. I love this around here, over here. I'm gonna leave this alone. Is that too much? And there's a lot going on up here, so I would say I would put it somewhere around here. So let me take a step back. And I really like this here. One last thing, because I can't help myself. I'm gonna, I have this red over here. I wanna have, I wanna notice it a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna look through my reds and pinks and oranges. I have a whole bunch of them. And see if there's one in particular, this kind of drew my eye over here, but that's of course way too big to me. But how about if I just put it there to see, I might not use this exact one, but I might actually just mix up this color paint and put a little dab over it over here. Kind of highlights and makes it punch up a little bit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. This is so helpful to me. I hope this is so helpful to you. And so please make sure you um, hit that subscribe button below and the bell so you can be alerted every time I put up a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.